Can you give any insights on like what you want to see there? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Wendy, I saw the first 35 minutes of Deadpool and Wolverine this morning. Home run so far. Oh, thank you oh so much. So good. Uh, you're coming off of She-Hulk into Deadpool, which mm -hmm. means you're breaking a lot of fourth walls. <laughs> and I'm sure people are asking you about that, but I would love to hear uh, what do you think Deadpool is saying when breaking the fourth wall to the audience? They're like, She-Hulk, the message of She-Hulk was not that. <laughs> God, that is hard. Um... You know, I will say this, both characters break the fourth wall, but it is something that we never used as a gimmick, right? It's, it's true to the source material, and it was something that we kind of judiciously chose here and there. So, I, I mean, I think truthfully it's, in She-Hulk, you're really getting an insight into the character's mindset, and Deadpool kind of uses the fourth wall. However, the heck he wants to, you know? It's, it's Deadpool. I think we're allowed to let yeah. a little loose around the words. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, you, you've worked on a lot of projects with The Rock, and I love Dwayne. I grew up a fan of The Rock, and Me you've worked too. on a lot of projects with him. And Black Adam uh, famously had the line before it came out where he was promoting it saying, the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Mm -hmm. There's a line in Deadpool, the power of the Marvel universe is about to change. Ah. Is that an intentional like joke about what Black Adam, speaking of fourth wall breaking, is that a joke about the Black Adam promo train? I do not think so. I think that's <laughs> purely coincidental. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, getting Hugh back is an absolute dream. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done an R-rated movie before, but this one still feels different. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to hear about what you think we're getting out of Wolverine from the R-rated sense that we never got in any of the previous X-Men movies. Well, uh, the truth is, I mean, Logan was rated R, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think what was really exciting to me is I remember speaking with Hugh about some particular story paths that we were going down and a scene we were shooting and and we had written some new pages and he just I just said what do you think about this and he was like I love this so much it is scratching an itch with this character that I have always wanted to scratch and never quite gotten to do so I think for Hugh who's been doing this for almost 25 years to be taking the character to new places is just awesome and exciting yeah uh people are myself included we're all very excited to see deadpool be a part of the mcu for the first time mm -hmm. people want to see deadpool bleed into the mcu they want to see the mcu bleed into deadpool mm -hmm. which kind of sounds like a lot of spectacle and in the first 35 minutes i saw there's so much heart to this movie so i love you how you guys kind of made sure to keep it grounded keep it rooted in the characters and not lean too far into the spectacle but still give people like the things they're looking for with those mcu ties mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I think Ryan is the first person to tell you that the comedy in a Deadpool movie will never work unless there's emotionality, right? The first movie he tells us, this is a love story. The second movie, this is about family. And so I think that's that kind of emotionality is core to Deadpool working as a feature. And the truth is, also with a director like Sean Levy, who mm -hmm. just really can pull at your heartstrings and kind of specializes in these grounded relationships. I think it really makes all of that sing in the movie. Was the set as fun as the movie is? Yes. How many <laughs> how many like deleted scenes do you think there are? If we were to like get a Blu-ray that's just got everything, how many different versions of this movie existed? <laughs> <laughs> well, deleted scenes, there aren't that many because sure. the the movie really is kind of the the structure that we set out to do, we really stuck to. But um how many different versions of the movie and different lines and ad-libs? An infinite amount. I mean, you've got such a brilliant improviser in Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman and the entire cast, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you can't, I, I want to say like what was the hardest cameo to get into the movie, but I know like we can't <laughs> talk about that yet. But mm -hmm. is there an Easter egg, whether it's something in the void that's because I saw, I won't even say what I saw. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't even know how to ask that yeah. question. So I'm just going to go to a, a, a She-Hulk question actually. Great. Because you, you t I've read where you talked about how the Deadpool 3 originally had a lot of ideas right up until Hugh Jackman called and said, mm -hmm. hey, I have an idea, and you guys ran with that. Does She-Hulk have those ideas for where that could go if season two comes around? And can you give any insights on like what you want to see there? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I don't know the answer to that question. I mean, if, if we're doing more She-Hulk, what I love about She-Hulk is just kind of being in this character's everyday life, you know? It's a woman in her 30s trying to navigate her life and her career and her friendships, and oh, she just happens to also be able to turn into a Hulk. So I think I would love to explore more of that. Um, 
You know, there's also a run in the comics where she goes into space and she's like, you know, adjudicating cases for the living tribunal. So I either want to be super, super grounded in L.A. or I want to take her out into the multiverse or uh, into the universe. That would yeah. be so much fun. I can't wait to see all of Deadpool and Wolverine, though. Thank you so much for talking with me about it. Thank and congrats Because it seems like it's going to be a huge hit and so much fun. I just hope people enjoy it, honestly. Me too.